to given cos theta is equal to m determine the value of the following in term of m so we see here so we have to relate with what is given so we where we can substitute our m so here secant square theta so we know that secant is equal to 1 over cos or cos is equal to 1 over secant right so secant square is equal to 1 over cos square theta which is equal to 1 over cos theta square so i put it in this way so that we can substitute our m which is 1 over m square so b sine square theta so what is the relation between sine and cos so sine and cos so we know that when we have square so we know that sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 so sine square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta right if you wanted to find sine we have to move the cos to the right side so 1 minus cos theta is cos theta square which is equal to 1 minus m square C cotangent square theta. So cotangent square theta. So sometimes for this uh, for this question, there is few ways to do it, right? So as long as you get the same answer, then it is okay. So cotangent is equal to one over tangent square theta. So which is equal to tangent square theta. Tangent is equal to sine square theta over cos square theta which is equal to cos square theta divided by sine square theta. So here cos is cos theta square divided by sine theta square. So this one never mind sine square theta we already get before this which is 1 minus m square. So this one cos theta is m square divided by 1 minus m square okay this is the first way or oh, the second way just show you so this one is called tangent square theta so the formula relating cotangent square so we know that we have cotangent square theta plus 1 is equal to cos secant square theta right where when we bring we want cotangent right when we bring 1 here we get cos secant square theta minus 1 suddenly I do it here never mind so this one is cos secant square theta minus 1 so cos secant is actually 1 over sine square theta minus 1 so 1 sine square theta because we just find it just now which is equal to 1 minus m square this one is 1 minus m square right this one is minus 1 so we wanted to combine so we have to make the denominator equal so 1 over 1 minus m square so this one is we are going to multiply with 1 minus m square 1 minus m square so this one is minus 1 minus m square divided by 1 minus m square so here 1 minus 1 negative negative positive we get 1 minus m square so here we get m square divided 1 minus m square so you can see that this one the working is different right but however we get the same answer so it doesn't matter for this so for this chapter so most of the time you can see that we have few options for few uh, different solutions but we still get the same answer but as long as the solution is right then and the answer is right then you're then it is okay